Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a, another hack for the Rigel um, DP832 programmable power supply. And unlike the other ones, you don't have to use the jog dial and prat around with a whole bunch of characters. This one is an easy enough one as long as you can go and get the resources from where they are. So we want to be able to take a peek um, at this link here. This is from the good guys at the EV, EEV blog forum. And so if we were to click on there, which we're going to do here, I'm just going to open the link there. And we're going to take a little peek at what we're going to do. Now, this doesn't put us directly into the place we need to be, so we need to go up a little bit. Let's have a look, and then about here. So as we can see here, look, we can see um, the, the DP800 series needs this little bit of code here. So when we need it, we're going to copy and paste this. But before we do that, we're just going to look down the bottom and we're going to see this thing here called the Rigel Key Zip. Now you need to click on that and download it to a folder. Maybe you just create a folder on your desktop, call it um, Rigel Color Screen Hack or something, and just pop that in there for now. It's a zip file, so you're going to have to have the ability to unzip it. And there are also RAR files, and so the ability to un unpack the RAR files um, packages. And for that, I use 7-zip myself because it covers all these different types of um, compression. Once you have that, you've got your zip down, you're going to need a USB key, blank formatted FAT32. Uh, the smaller the key you can get, the better. I've just got a standard pen drive, it's 16 gigabytes. I didn't have to modify it or anything. I just, um, like I say, I just uh, I formatted it FAT32. And when we've done that, the file that you're going to find inside this uh, is not this. The file that you find inside here when you've unpacked it is this Rigel key and you need to be able to disk image, you need to be able to put that image onto the drive. All right? You can't just copy it across to the drive, that's not going to work. You're going to need to use a little bit of software and I use this piece of software called Disk Imager because it's very, very simple to use. And we're going to go through that, so that's a little bit of software, you can just download it, it's free. It works only in Windows, as I don't know if you've noticed, this is my Windows partition, not Linux. Um, and it only works in the Windows uh, 11, 10, 8, 7, and incredibly Vista. Download that, put it into the same folder if you want to. Um, it's not an installation file, it's a run from the uh, double clicking on it. And you also want the Ultra Sigma. Um, software and you're going to get that from Rigel itself so if I've used Rigel.eu and you can just uh, type into if you wish um, your favourite search engine just Rigel Ultra Sigma software download and it should probably bring you here if you get this because I'm showing you on this if you get the see the Rigel EU uh, click on that one because it will bring you straight to this page and what we want to do is just look down and you'll see all sorts of software for right from Rigel uh, to help people. So um, we're going to be looking for this Ultra Sigma PC installer. Now you can get the help document if you like, but if you're just going to be doing this one thing with it, well I'm trying to bypass all that for you and just make, make it easier for you. So if you download this, I'd put it in the same folder again. Once again, uh, it is an installer, this one. You do install it, if we look. Uh, these are recently added out of the Ultra Sigma will come NI Max. I've not used that, I've just used the Ultra Sigma. I didn't need the tools or anything like that, I just used the Ultra Sigma and I'll show you how you can do that uh, in, a, in, a, in a moment. So, you've downloaded the Ultra Sigma and you've put it through and you've installed it. All right, you may need to put some .NET runtime 2, 3 in there and it'll tell you if you need to do that. And once you've done that, you'll reboot them, your machine. And then we are going to look at what we need to put together now. So we've used, we're gonna use our disk installer 
which if I can just go back to where that is, we're going to use the disk installer, disk imager, sorry. Oh, that's the zipped, that's the zipped one. We don't want that. Let's just go back. Disk imager, once we've unpacked it, and we can just click on that and say, yes, we're going to use it, and up it will come here. Now, I don't have my actual, I don't have my actual key, pen key, pen drive um, in the back, in the this computer at the moment. I've only got this removable drive here. It will format for you. It will wipe off everything off that drive. So make sure you're going to use the relevant drive. Um, and like I say, I've used the pen drive. It's eight, uh, 16 gigs in the back of the Rigel. You'll find your file. And that will be the Rigel key. You'll tell it then that you want to put it on there and then you can write the image to this. Now I'm not going to write over this because that's got all the information I, I had for this particular thing on there. But you just write image to disk. It'll warn you twice about do you really want to do this? Just say yes and say yes again. And then you're done. You've got the image on your pen drive, which is brilliant. So now, once the image is on the pen drive, we're going to open up the Ultra Sigma. It's just going to open up and it's going to look like this. Now you must have, I suppose I should add this now, you must have a wire in the back of your um, Rigel going into your router. Or how, however it is you're shown across your network, it needs to be in there because we need to be able to access it. Now it's simple enough, the default settings in your router, it'll be an automatic setup for your IP address. Okay, it'll use a DHP server and it'll be ultra easy for it. So once you've connected on there, you will see yourself on here. It's searching for a LAN instrument because we just click on the LAN. Uh, at the moment, mine's not on, so it's not gonna come up with this, but what you'll have is there'll be a, the IP address that you'll find online if this just makes anything easier, the IP address, and then you'll just put add. You can test it, see if it gets a response, um, and you'll just get add. Now, as mine is on, I can do a test here now. Please input the IP address. So if I just get rid of this for a second, and go back to this LAN, please input IP address first. Yeah, don't know why it's doing that. Get out of that for a second. Exit the Ultra Sigma and just go back into the Ultra Sigma. Okay, let's load this file. Initialization. Now, okay, because it's DHCP, it may redo that. It may allocate it another number, but I'm gonna try and see if I can put this in. Well, I think mine was, I think it could have been 103 actually. Let's do a test. Nah. No, it would have come up already. Insufficient location information. Okay, let me just look on my power supply then, just to see what's going on inside here. Uh, input, output, config, LAN, and there's my mine's 101. You see? All right. Uh, then we're going to test that. Test successful. Now you can add modified instruments resources. Now, because you've got your power supply on now, now is the time where you're going to plug in that pen key into the back of your power supply. I read in the forum that if you do it before, it's not gonna work, uh, but now you can do that. So we're gonna say test, and then we're gonna add. So it's added the instrument, we're gonna say okay, and now you're gonna see it here. Mine actually says the DP832A uh, already because I've told it it's an 832A. And because the hardware is the same, it's just that it's software crippled or software restricted. Uh, that's all we're doing, we're just changing, the, just changing that a little bit. So we're going to do a right click on there, and then we're going to go to the SPI panel, and in here you'll see there's already a part of a, a, um, a command, but we're just going to ignore that for a second, and we're going to go back to our website, that link I provided, and where I highlighted it, we're just going to do a copy control V on this, because it doesn't seem to work if you try and do a, I'll show you, if you try and do a, a, a copy, a right click, do a copy. Well, I say it didn't work, it didn't. doesn't matter, but I did a control V anyway on mine. So, and then we're gonna go into our command, 
and we're going to just type in, oh, just make sure you cover, get rid of all of this, and then we're going to go V there, uh, Control V, so it's Control C for copy, Control V for paste, right? And then we're going to send the command. If I send the command, I don't think anything's really going to happen, just because mine's already set like that anyway. Anyway, it says that it's, uh, it's set the model to the DP832A, and now all you've got to do now is just switch off the power supply, switch it back on again, we can close all this down, and you will be successfully changed. There is now a colour screen, and we're all good. How do you swap it back to monochrome? Not sure yet. I'm going to start a look around to do that. Uh, just so I've got a, you know, I'm sure there's going to be, there's plenty of commands when you look at the, um, the SCPI stuff, but I wouldn't play around with it. I'm just suggesting you can do this to change from the monochrome to the colour screen, which does look quite splendid. If we turn all those on, that looks quite nice. Uh, yeah, so there you go. That's how you can just upgrade, if you want to call it an upgrade, to the colour screen from the Rigel DP832A. Let me just make sure I've not left anything else out. I haven't left anything out. That's it, that's all you got to do, all right? So you don't have to go searching for all the threads to find this little piece here. Uh, as long as you do that, you know, you, you can unpack like the RAR file, the uh, the utility, this utility is a RAR file. Just unpack it, 7-zip, covers everything if you want to do that within Windows. It's great. Uh, if you got this far, remember you can always rewind if you need to go over the, the, the it again. But if you got this far, cheers for watching guys and uh, happy hacking. <laughs>